News 8's Kent Pierce is live outside of the New Haven Superior Court with what we can expect beginning today. Good morning, Kent. Good morning, Ann and Chris. And when it comes to this penalty phase, it's sort of like starting over with a whole new trial. But instead of guilty or not guilty, instead the jurors have to decide whether Joshua Komostarjewski deserves life in prison or the death sentence. And to do that, they're going to have to weigh what are called mitigating factors against aggravating factors. Mitigating factors are things that make Komostarjewski more sympathetic, like the fact he was abused as a kid. Aggravating factors are things that make Komosarjewski look bad, like the fact he admitted to a string of robberies in the Cheshire area back in 2002. Now, yesterday the jury wasn't in the courtroom, but the judge heard from the state trooper who led the investigation into those robberies, and the judge ruled that at some point in the penalty phase, the jury might be allowed to hear about those past crimes. Keep in mind, Connecticut makes it very hard to give anybody the death penalty because it is the ultimate irreversible penalty, and this penalty phase could be more complicated and last even longer than the regular trial. Live outside court in New Haven, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.